is the Halifax real estate market starting to slow down? Well, depending on who you ask, you might get a very different answer. The truth is it's been pretty steady overall and the price points are holding on and the sales are up a little bit year over year, but it really depends on what you're trying to buy and sell and that's going to determine what your experience is like so for example if you're selling a four hundred thousand dollar semi-detached home in hrm while it's likely to sell quickly for top dollar and i would say likely with multiple offers but if you're selling a home over six hundred thousand or six hundred and fifty thousand dollars depending on the neighborhood and the type of product it might sit on the market for 60 to 90 days or even longer so again it really really depends so in today's video i'm going to break down what we've been seeing in the market and what the stats look like year to date up to the end of july but just before i dive into it if you're new here my name is andrew stevens i'm a realtor in halifax and if you want to be educated on the halifax real estate market then you're in the right place so hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and if you want to book a call or meet with me to chat about real estate if you're thinking about making a move in the hrm you can do so anytime through the calendly link below all right so so far this year we've sold 3126 homes which is up 5.4 percent from year to date this time last year in 2023 now these homes have sold for an average of just under five hundred and eighty thousand dollars which is up 3.2 percent from this time last year in 2023 so we're selling more homes even though they're more expensive than they were last year on average so now i'm going to queue it up for the keyboard warriors to jump into the comments and talk about how the market's going to implode and how the market's going to tank and crash and all this stuff but truthfully it's been pretty stable overall and the numbers don't lie and the reality is i don't see a huge market crash coming anytime soon in halifax rates are starting to drop which in theory is going to increase the buyer pool meaning increased demand and currently we only have about 2.1 months of listing inventory so more demand is definitely not what our market needs right now so at 2.1 months of listing inventory this would be considered a seller's market so again not enough supply for the demand that we currently have from buyers and in looking at what's on the market right now we have just under 1100 active homes for sale in the hrm which has been steadily increasing over time but although it's been increasing and we do technically have more supply now than we did the problem is we don't really have enough of the supply that we need so here's what is on the market right now for reference in the hrm only about 24 percent of active listings are under five hundred thousand dollars which i would say is the largest demand in terms of the specific price point that we would have right now in our marketplace about 36 percent of the listings for sale right now in the hrm are between five hundred thousand dollars and seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is still a pretty busy price range right now and i would say this is pretty much a good level to have in this specific price range but then after that things get a little bit more dicey because from seven hundred and fifty thousand to a million dollars we have about 23 percent of the active homes for sale and about 17 percent of the active homes for sale right now are in the one million dollar and above price range so about 40 percent of our active homes for sale right now in the hrm are above $750,000, which in my opinion is way, way too high based on the current demand that we have. So is the market slowing down? Well, to be honest, not really. So if I compare July, 2024 to July, 2023, just month over month, that single month, sale prices were only up about 1.5 percent so they're holding pretty steady but the sales were up 17 percent, which is pretty substantial that's a pretty significant change year over year in the month of july but again it's really going to depend on what you're trying to sell in terms of what your experience level is going to be like so let me set the stage for you let's say you have a home listed and it's been on the market for three or four months and you haven't had an offer now you're coming off of a weekend and you go into the office on Monday morning and one of your co-workers walks into the office and they say oh man I sold my house on the weekend I listed it on Thursday and I had 10 offers on Sunday night and we 
sold way above the asking price. And yeah, I just, I love my realtor. I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled. My home sold so quickly. And then you're sitting there scratching your head thinking, well, why is my home not selling? How come mine's been on the market for four months? And oftentimes when I hear these stories and I hear people talking about this, they're not comparing apples to apples. So for example, maybe your home has been sitting on the market for three or four months is an $800,000 home in middle Sackville, a great big two story with a garage and just a big home at a big price point. And it's not to say that your home isn't worth $800,000, but there's a lot less people looking for that type of home compared to say, maybe that coworker sold a semi detached property in Lower Sackville or in Woodlawn for $350,000 to $425,000, where the buyer pool is much more substantial and there's a lot more demand in that marketplace. So that's oftentimes why people are getting frustrated and they're seeing that, you know, they're seeing their neighbors, they're seeing their coworkers, their friends, their family having better results than them, but they're not really comparable based on what they're trying to sell and what the market is doing right now. So what's this mean for you if you're trying to buy or sell a home in HRM right now? Because I know that's kind of a lot of stats and numbers and stuff thrown at you guys. You know, so if you're trying to buy a home, let's say under the $500,000 range, it is difficult. It is kind of a bloodbath in that price range. I know somebody in my office just the other day had over a dozen offers within 24 hours of listing a home at $399.9 in HRM. So it's tough. You're likely to compete. You're likely to lose on some properties before you actually get an accepted offer. And that just kind of is what it is. It's a bit of a journey in that price range right now. Now, on the flip side, if you're selling a property like this, assuming it's priced accurately, you're likely to see quite a few showings, maybe multiple offers, maybe it sells over the asking price, again, depending on how you price it. But this is a very busy price range. If you're looking to buy a home in the $500 to $750,000 range, it's still pretty busy, but it's a little bit lighter and buyers can be a little bit more picky, a little bit more choosy in this price range. But again, it really depends on the situation because a home listed in in, let's say North or West End Halifax for six fifty to seven hundred thousand dollars is going to see a very different demand than something that is maybe seven hundred thousand dollars out in Eastern Passage, for example, or in Timberley or some of the other suburbs around. So it's very, very neighborhood dependent. Now, if you're selling a home in this price range, you want to make sure that you have it tickety boo ready to go, and you want to make sure that your listing is standing out above the rest because it's not a lock that your home is going to sell overnight in this type of a price range, again, depending on the market and the neighborhood that you might be in. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the over $750,000 range, well, it's a little bit slower. Again, homes tend to sit on the market a little bit longer. There's a lot less demand in this price point, and there's a lot more listings as well. So in other words, the level of inventory in these markets is much higher than it is under the $500,000 range. Okay. So these homes are likely to sit on the market a little bit longer. Buyers are pickier. And you just need to know that you need to have your expectations set in the right place when you're entering into a new listing or maybe when you're starting to buy a home in this type of a price range. And as a general stat, just for context, in the over $750,000 price range, homes are taking about three times longer to sell so far this year than they are in the under $500,000 price range. So again, that's just for some context to let you know what's happening in these different markets around HRM. If you're considering making a move, in all honesty, it may be a great time for you to do so, or it may not. And that is really just going to depend on what your situation is financially. Are you selling a home and then buying one? Are you trying to buy your first home? Are you selling a luxury home or whatever you're trying to do? It really, really depends. But regardless of what you're trying to do, you need to make sure that you go into it with a clear mind and good, clear expectations of what to expect during the process of your buying or selling journey. Now, if you're thinking about making a move in HRM and you want some help with that, you can book a buyer consult or seller consult with me anytime in the Cali link below. And if you're still here watching and you got any value out of this video, all I ask is that you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. And that'll help push this out to more people like you who may be interested in being educated in the Halifax and Nova Scotia real estate markets. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and have a great day.